Hello everybody, hanging out with my son here and I thought uh, I would read you a quote from or a text from a book called uh, The Book of Forgiving by Desmond Toto and this goes in the life attitude category here on my channel. Um, at, age, at the age of 12, Basim Armin watched another boy his age was shot and killed by an Israeli soldier. In that moment, he felt a deep need for revenge and joined a group of freedom fighters in Hebron. Some called him a terrorist, but he felt he was fighting for his safety, his home and his right to be free. At 17, he was caught planning a terror attack on Israeli troops and sentenced to seven years in prison. <laughs> In prison, he only learned to hate more, as he was stripped naked and beaten by his prison guards. They were beating us with hatred, because for them, this was just a training exercise, and they saw us as objects. While in prison, Basim engaged in a dialogue with his Israeli guards. Each thought the other was the terrorist, and each equally denied being the settler in, this, in the land they shared. <clears throat> Though they, uh, through their conversation, they realized how much they had in common with each other. For Basim, it was the first time he recalled feeling empathy for in his life. Seeing the transformation that took place between him and his captor as they recognized their shared humanity. Basim realized that violence could never bring peace. This realization changed his life. In 2005, Basim Armin confounded a group called Combatants for Peace. He has not picked up a weapon since, and for Basim this is not a sign of weakness, but of true strength. In 2007, Basim's 10-year-old daughter, Abir, was shot by an Israeli soldier as she stood outside her school. Basim says, uh, Basim says Abir's murder could have led me down the easy path of hatred and vengeance. But for me, there was no return from dialogue and known violence. After all, it was one Israeli soldier who shot my daughter, but 100 former Israeli soldiers who built a garden in her name at the school where she was murdered. I say again, forgiveness is not weakness. And uh, that is deep, that is deep. I hope I bring some wisdom to you this Sunday and uh, that can elevate your life in some way. Stay blessed. Always be your best. Little dude. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.